day four of the 61st annual All Native Basketball Tournament as we have intermediate action. Uh, we apologize for the late start here as uh, games get behind. That's just how it works uh, here at the All Native. But uh, we're ready for tip off as we have a great game. Kitimat taking on Hartley Bay. I'll be doing your play by play in color. Willis Parnell. Good morning, Willis. Yes, good morning, Pistol Pete. Here we go. Uh, great uh, Hartley Bay and uh, actually be great there. Again, we were just talking earlier. Young guy, obviously, shoot, but they're missing a few of their players uh, who are playing for the Rainmakers. Yeah, Harley Bay was an upstart team last year. Uh, a number of their teams aren't playing this year as a result of them uh, being committed to the Rainmakers program. But uh, Clifton getting uh, Harley Bay on the board as they uh, lead 3-0. That was John Clifton for three. As uh, Harry Jr. missing that put back for Heisla. Coming out for Harley Bay, back-to-back -back trades to open, no. We're trying to get the numbers, that's uh, zero. That's Skyler Wesley missing that three-pointer. Coming back, boy, you don't even need to ask uh, Harry Jr. Uh, <laughs> no. who that is, <laughs> you just look at him. It's a great ball, play, young ball player for Heisla. For three, trying to match it up. So that was uh, Hunter Wilson missing that shot. So still three, nothing. It's a uh, big Clifton bringing the ball up, Christian Clifton. Uh, All-star last year for Hartley Bay. So you get that around. I think it's Ethan Dundas for three. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Good start for Hartley Bay. Great shot. Six nothing. That goes out of bounds. Like I say, we were talking earlier too, Peter. You're saying uh, both these teams pretty young. Yeah. Well, we all see squads, I guess, kind of go through this uh, rebuild phase. I mean, Kitimat was winning championships not too long ago with the, the Mets brothers, the nice guys. And, uh, yeah, you got to regroup, right? That's just how it works. Yeah, there's a cycle of and all the nice guys and the de Mets are up in uh, senior division. That's right. Oh, wow, Dundas <laughs> with another shot on the baseline there. Hartley Bay out to a torrid pace. 8 nothing. So, uh, yeah, they made a great run last year. They I know they had a good matchup against Bella Bella in the quarterfinals and... Uh, Missing a couple of their good players. Oh, tough drive there by Harry Jr. Yeah, he does sure look like his dad. He really totally does. It's, uh, yeah. It's just looking at him, I'm not sure how old he is. Obviously, he's intermediate, but looking at his knees, you know, maybe he has a patella thing on his knees. It's tough with people with knees. I've never had that, so, so Yeah, he's especially okay. at a young age, too. I mean, totally, he, yeah. Just one to, of those things. Yeah. Battling injuries when you're a young player is uh, it's almost unheard of, but... Uh, these guys will get out there and play. I mean, maybe just to talk a little bit about the uh, the Hartley Bay scenario. I mean, they're they're missing uh, Rylan Adams and Brendan Esham, two of their great players. And uh, I mean, you were a rainmaker, Willis, right? You know that whole dilemma of playing, you know, high level high school basketball. There's the biggest stage, the all native. I mean, as a player, you want to play, obviously. Yeah, it's, it, I think it. Again, we all have choice, right? Yeah. Uh, that's one thing I may uh, question, but that again, that's just my position, and uh, I know. When I was in grade 11, because I never played grade 12 because I was hurt, but I, I always played, and then I went back to school. I'm right. not going to get hurt. I'm 16, 17 <laughs> years old, right? Well, there's that chance, but anyway, you don't think about that. Well, you can get hurt uh, walking down the street. I mean, you know, like, I mean, it's, just, it's one of those random things, and I get it, but, uh, yeah, it's a tough one for you for Harley Bay, but they're leading 8-1 to one as uh, Harry good on one of two. On, he actually was one, on, one of two on the previous free throws. He got two more, one of two again. So it's 8-2. Uh, to two. That's Clifton. For three, oh. wow, <laughs> the barrage of shooting here. That was a zero. Skyler Wesley for three. Dundas, Wesley, that's 11 to two here. Gitgat up on Heisla. And moving around here, Hunter Wilson. Great defense by Wesley. Denied at the free throw line, Amos. A little bit heavy, battle for the boards. Dundas comes up with it. Uh, they're slowly bringing it up here for Hartley Bay. Oh, almost picked off by Amos. Out on the wing. Another three. Oh, he says two. Oh, long That's two there. Now, that was John Clifton now. I think his toe was on the line. Boy, <laughs> that changed man. it really quick. The whole starting lineup here for uh, Hartley Bay on the, on the scoreboard already. Almost picked off there by Gitgat. But Heislam moving it around down low. Amos, turnaround jumper off the glass. That's heavy. Christian Clifton coming out with the, the rebound, keeps it, tries the lead uh, pass to John Clifton uh, out of bounds. Just a reminder, this Intermediates game is brought to you on the radio by the KitKat Health Department and on video by the Heisel Nation Council. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back after this. 
Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes, and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. Back, uh, the Civic Center here on fire. Dundas hits another three for Hartley Bay on that break. But coming back, Harry Jr., really nice drive there for Heisla. Finally getting them in their first field goal of the game. 16-4 to four with six minutes to go here in the first quarter. It's Clifton. He's looking to drive against Harry. Dishes it off. Wesley, jumper no good. You got to think, I would just be feeding it to Dundas right now <laughs> until, he, until he misses. Good hustle, eh? Yeah, the young man. 16-4, uh, to four, Heisla, Harry Jr. Showing lots of great hustle there. Good no call. As, uh, Clifton hits the floor, but put back by Harry. No good. He's just by him. Himself. There's nobody there. <laughs> yeah, he's working hard, but uh, the reinforcements weren't there. So Dundas, he's going to, oh, I thought he was going to take that. Wesley for three. No good. Long outlet pass, Harry, that's picked off. And Skyler Wesley skies in for that one. 16-4 still, Wesley. Everyone's taking their time, or taking their turns, <laughs> shooting threes, and now it's Christian Clifton's turn. Wow. Hits that for three. Boy, 19-4. Get Gat on fire here early on. Harry. Oh, beautiful pass. Oh, into Great. Amos. Nice <laughs> pass there. That was uh, Connor Walker with the no-look left-handed dish. Beauty. So far, five uh, threes for uh, Hartley Bay. Jeez. Yeah, that's a tough uh, five. Yeah, it's a one-three a, a minute pace. Coming in, Wesley goes in the paint. Nice touch. Good catch. Continues their, uh, their hot start. He's coming back now for Kinemat. That's Walker. Walker. Oh, oh, he almost walked. Yeah, they're going to call him with the travel. <laughs> oh, I actually thought that was a body fall. So you saw one, I saw the other. I uh, just want to say, uh, heard that it's Wild Willie Wesley's birthday. And I know that I share the same like everyone else. We miss him. Uh, we actually hope he's doing well in his retirement. And uh, I'd just like to say happy birthday, Wild William. Yeah, Wild William, if you're out there, we really miss you, pal. And uh, yeah, all the best on your birthday. It's like a, it's a national holiday here at the All-Native Tournament. Yes. So uh, we're out of time already now. This game is being brought to you on the radio by KitKat Health Department and on video by Heisla Nation Council. We'll be back after this. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. lead here for Hartley Bay. Lots of time to go in the game. A couple of young squads. There's uh, this Heisla team. We're getting our first real look at them. And, uh, coming back, driving in. That's Walker. Like you, you know, say, I mean, I, 
when you have transition from guys moving up, younger guys coming up, and, and that's, a, that's the way it's supposed to go. You know, people have to step up and take the pride in the uniform, right, uh, f from where you're at. I know it's tough for us because we're from Old Masset, but we haven't yeah. seen intermediate from Old Masset yeah. for a few years. Well, I mean, yeah, it seems like it's, 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 it's un unexcusable to think that the, the young people in the community can't come to the tournament to get the experience. And then thinking about Heisla, after they won those championships, they didn't have an intermediate team for a little while too. So and true. It, it is hard to get some, you know, a program bill where there's volunteers and coaches and everything has to come together. It's a big community production. It's not just one or two people. But it's also the players have to have the commitment Absolutely. to come to the gym. You and bet. They got to buy in. Yeah. Coming back, uh, good on one or two free throws was uh, Heisla. Missed shot there by Gitgad as Clifton puts it back in. 23 to 7. Heisla, it's number 23. That's Elmer Smith out there. Harry Jr. trying to go inside. And that's who Smith. As Harry gets the shot off, but they call an offense, an offensive foul. Oh, the, the block. They're calling 2-3 on the block there, but uh, just, just watching Harry Jr. Wow, nice handle. Yeah, explosive yeah. Uh, dribble. But, but uh, results in a turnover there. We got some subs coming in. Looks like Amos sitting down. Ethan Amos. And coming back now. Clifton. Christian. Out at the top. Get around Dundas. A little overzealous on the defense there was uh, Walker. As he's charged with a personal. Uh, both teams are not in the bonus yet. They both have three teams foul. So. Not like the other game we did. Holy. The day we did it, I think it was Prince Super versus uh, Hazelton. It was took forever. A lot of fouls in the second half. And, yeah, you know, yeah, I know that's tough. I mean, yeah, we had a game like that too. There was like 46 total fouls called, and boy, it's two-hour broadcast. Yeah. On the back, Clifton cleaning it up, battling for the boards. Comes up a uh, Heisel ball, long outlet pass. Harry Jr. going in all alone over everybody. Can't get that one to go. Rebound controlled. Nelson Robinson comes up with that rebound for Kitkat. Dundas. Hands it off. Robinson for three. Nice oh, shot. Oh, oh. Nelson Robinson. Did he just get in the game? He just came in the game, yeah. He came out firing. Look, he's, still, he's got bedhead yet. He's not even awake. But he hit a three. 26-7. Good guy in control here. There's another miss by Heisla. Because they got some other young players in. That's uh, Chaz uh, Janae. Dundas. So dribbling around, he keeps it going against everybody. Tough shot, oh Dundas, man. Looking at the ref for the end one. <laughs> yeah, Ethan really showing some game here. He's, I think he's got probably a double-digit score by now. It's a drive there, no foul called. It looked like, uh, and then thrown away. Yeah, turned over by KitKat on the way back. So it was Hunter Wilson on this side. So Josh Grant Jr. going to check into the game for Heisla. So we're getting uh, trying to familiarize ourselves with this young Heisla squad. Yeah, we're so used to knowing all the yeah, we don't need players either. on the teams, That's but right. when you're young, up and comers, right? Yeah, well, it's funny. I think about uh, Dundas. I mean, he reminds me of Brett Amos when he was an intermediate because we yes. always bugged him about his beard. Yes, right. He was yes. 16 and playing with a beard in the All Native. So that, and that was the thing that he always joked about that he'd get bugged about in the community. Oh, we got a. Yeah. Technical foul, I think. Technical foul called here as Dundas going to head to the line. Yeah, technical foul. Free throw is good. We did not pick up uh, what that call was. Might have been just been uh, somebody frustrated. Uh, maybe it might have been the bench, maybe. I'm Could have sure. been, yep. But uh, Dundas has a smooth shot. Outside, yeah. inside, obviously he's got the free throws too. Yeah, I know. They were a great team last year. That's what I mean. You know, they got big Clifton. Uh, a lot of great pieces out there. Coming back, Amos. They're moving it around. That's uh, Amos down number six. That's uh, Grant Jr. down to Amos. Oh, he almost got that one to go, but he was fouled. Good ball movement by uh, Heisla, finding the open guy and obviously the big guy inside. Possible two at the line. Yeah, Grant Jr. with the good look there. They need a couple baskets as they're down by uh, 22. Yeah, getting some shots off. I mean, you know, just maybe not showing as much uh, aggressiveness there. I mean, Harry's coming down one on five sometimes, and nobody there. That's right. And Amos uh, missing that first free throw. Good on the second, off the glass. 141 left first quarter. 
as uh, Clifton bringing it up for Harley Bay. We'll take a look at the draw for everybody, let you know what uh, what's going to happen next for both of these squads. Oh, nice give and go as Clifton, but it's blocked. And that's, uh, that was uh, Hunter Wilson with that block. It was a great play. But it's still going to be Git Gat ball as they're going to inbound. Dundas lobs it in, Clifton. That's out on top. They move it around, Dundas, try to get it to Clifton, picked off by Grant Jr., nice hands. Oh, oh dribbled he, on the line. Yeah, on dribbled the on the sideline. <laughs> Nothing worse than making a great defensive effort and then just dribbling in, looking down, and oh, you're on the sideline. The old slip, maybe he wasn't looking at it just like a football. If you don't look at it totally, you'd not be able to gather it in. That's right. So Wesley gets it out to Dundas, eight to go on the shot clock. Dundas, dangerous pass in low. Gets it in there anyway, has uh, Logan Dundas. So Dundas to Dundas there. 31-8, get that. From the back, that's Woods, number eight for Heisla. They're moving it around, Grant has it. Grant Jr. try to go back door to Amos. Woods uh, almost loses it, five on the shot clock. They're gonna have to get a shot off here. Wilson, running jumper no good. Coming back now, Git Gat. We have less than a minute to go. There's a four, less than 40 seconds. Clifton, 31-8, Git Gat. Dundas over his head, but that's okay. Went to the other Dundas. Baseline jumper is no good by Wesley. So it was about a second difference in the shot clock and the game clock. But Heisla, looks like they're gonna be content to maybe hold for one here. Woods. Oh, for three. That's no good. Hunter Wilson missing. Five seconds to go. Get Gat. They're going to have to struggle to get a shot off here as they're getting swarmed. Clifton at the buzzer. Me. Oh, no good. Off. Yeah, Get Gat leads 31 to 8. Yeah, with this, this intervening game is brought to you on the radio by the Get Gat Health Department and on video by the Heisel Nation Council. We'll be back for second quarter action in a moment. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. Annual only to basketball tournament. I'm with the Hall of Famer Willis Parnell, I'm Pistol Pete Lanton with Clip the Statman Morgan. We're here in the intermediate division. Pretty straightforward, Willis. Uh, winner of this game survives, the loser goes home uh, right now. So the winner of this game will move on to a game tomorrow at 6 30, where they're awaiting the winner of New Iange and Hazleton. Yes, um, again, Heisel needs to get a couple of baskets and hopefully he can warm up the hoop and, like you say, start right there with the big guy. Yeah, Ethan Amos with a nice little turnaround shot off the glass. So he gets that to go, 31 to 10. Oh. Tundas goes in all alone. Oh, oh, he's too heavy, too speedy. A little bit heavy off the glass. Oh, Amos, oh, nice entry pass there, but a little bit heavy. So Dundas missing that uh, layup for Gitgat. is only blemish on his uh, scorecard so far. I think he did that because he was so wide open. Yeah, Probably no, yeah. Too excited to get an easy two. Way too close. Oh, he's backing in. Nice body movement there by Dundas. Clifton with the offensive boards. He puts it back. Coming back, here's Harry again. Harry Jr. up with the left hand. Oh, a little unorthodox there. It goes back up. He's battling, but uh, you can see him just not going. Yeah. He works hard, that's for sure. Speedy little guard. Oh, he's yeah. not really little, that little, but. No. Well, it would be nice if he had some guys running out with him. So pretty, pretty tough doing it by himself. Yes. It's a drive, tough drive by Gitgat. That was number four. That was John Clifton. 
Amos out on the fast break, all alone, off the glass for two. Nice hustle by Ethan. Pretty agile for a big guy. Yeah, Ethan. he moves really well. Yeah, covering the court. So it's 33 to 12. 8.20 to go, first half. Clifton Dundas, baseline jumper, or up to three, sorry. Quick release, uh, no good. Here we go on the fast break. Driving in with the left hand. John Clifton missing that one. I'm sorry, that was Hunter Wilson. My apologies. But uh, Gitgat bringing it back over half court. Clifton tried to go into Dundas. Yeah, wow, the dangerous pass. He was wide open on the weak side, but a little bit low. It's hard, tough one to do those skip passes from one side all the way to the other side of the court. And uh, if, not saying they couldn't be done, but like sometimes it gets uh, deflected as it was. Yeah, well, you know, as a coach, when you see that pass, you just you're holding your breath, uh, <laughs> hoping it makes it there. Well, that's picked off by Heisler. Good hands. That was Elmer Smith picking it off. Coming back is Wilson, Hunter Wilson. He goes up. He's fouled. And he's going to head to the line for two. Yeah, and just remember this uh, reminder, pardon me, this intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by the Get Get Health Department and on video by the Heisel Nation Council. We'll be back in a moment. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun.
Go. Back to live action here. Heisel on a little bit of a run there as uh, Harry Jr. hit a couple free throws and a nice play by Connor Walker. They're now within 11. And, uh, maybe a little bit of an intensity pickup here, Willis. I think so. You, uh, again, that's what you have to do. You don't just keep going and obviously you're getting runs because guys are running. And with that, we're going to time out as uh, GitGat's taking a timeout. This game is brought to you on the radio by GitGat Health Department. And our video by Heisel Nation Council will be back in a moment. They'd be happy. Yeah, with Heisel, we know that. They never give up, and like you say, they're coming back and chip away, chip away. Before you know it, it's underneath the double digits. Oh, we got an offensive foul there. It looks like on Dundas. Yes, he points him. Yeah, it's funny. Huh? He's like, it's me. I'm here. No, it's funny when guys do that. I'm not sure what it is. I mean, he got caught doing something, and it's kind of funny how they don't complain about the call. They just uh, admit to it. Yep. The great, uh, you know, youth basketball. You got to love that. Nice drive there. Harry Jr. blows by Clifton. Gets to the rim again and uh, going back to the line now. And you're saying, well, it's uh, Harry Jr. I mean, not shooting that well. Uh, shooting a low percentage from two points. Uh, but getting all these offensive boards. What does he have? Seven offensive rebounds now? Seven offensive rebounds right now. Uh, the stat man, uh, Cliff Morgan's given us. He's only three for 15. From two land, obviously he's just missing a lot of easy ones. And I guess right. those are the correlating stats, right? Low shooting percentage, high offensive rebounds. So obviously he's getting his own rebounds. Correct. He's just got to knock down a few more and, uh, let's say, 10-pointer. Yep. He got one of two, so it's 35-25. As uh, Gitgats uh, let their foot off the, the gas here. Heisler has clawed back into it. Dundas. That's Ethan. He's threatening to take the three. Pass down low. Beautiful pass down to Wesley. Oh, it rattled in and out. No good. Skyler Wesley, no good. So coming back now, Heisla. Harry to Amos at the free throw line. Turn around, jumper looks good. He has no hesitation on that one. Turned around and shot it. Great play there by Amos. Eight point lead now for Gitgat. Their lead has shrunk. Clifton guarded by Harry Jr. Ethan Dundas for three. Quick release. Oh, and he nails it. Boy, did they ever need that one. Yeah, you can see him. He's uh, kind of trying to calm down the GitGat fans, saying, don't worry about it. We're good. 11-point lead now. Coming back. Driving. Dishing. Oh, and it's a nice play there. Has, uh, has Hunter Wilson working hard. He's got it back again. Wilson driving baseline. Goes up. Good well, effort there. They picked up the intensity. I mean, you know, it's not just James Harry Jr. driving. It's everybody driving right now. So true. And again, that rubs off, right? I mean, Harry Jr. is maybe saying, hey, guys, we got to go. We're not out of this. And they're not. They're only down by, uh, what is that, 11? Yeah, I mean, obviously, well, Heisler in the bonus for uh, the remainder of this half. And, uh, yeah, the coaching's got to be telling them, you know, drive every time, guys. They're fouling you every time. Is uh, Hunter Wilson good on the first free throw? That's John Clifton's third personal. Yeah, and it could be that too. You know, try to get some of these big guys that uh, that's, been, that's been hurting them in foul trouble. Good free throws there by Hunter as he uh, he hits both of them. There's a nine point lead. Get Gat. Dundas for three again. Quick release. Oh, and he nails another one. Ethan Dundas, are you kidding me? Deep he salutes the crowd. Yeah, saluting the crowd. I love him. He's got great personality out there, and the crowd loves it. You can see lots of smiles in the stands. <laughs> Love young players like that. Yeah, that's right. Loving the Three. game. Three. Oh, beautiful answer the there. That was uh, number 23, Elmer Smith. <laughs> Smith for three. We've said that a lot over the years. 
41-32. All of a sudden we're having a shootout from three. He says, I ain't gonna outdo you. Yeah, no, that's a great answer. And uh, the crowd loves it when that happens, oh, when they have man. this back from back and forth exchange and yeah, just well, answer with answer, eh? It's well, great. Well, you're talking about that last year in the final with uh, oh. Jacob Tom and uh, Marlon Apps. Yeah. That was uh, remarkable. It's talked about many times by people. Yeah, well, those things become stuff of legend around here, right? And, uh, you know, it's in the, when they summarize key points of the tournament, uh, like in, in this year's program, I mean, they had to talk about that exchange. Oh. Like, it was legend watching Apps and, and uh, Tom go at it, wow. And the difference there is Jacob Tom, 30, and Apps is like 17 or 18. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. that's a remarkable. Yeah, for sure. And uh, yeah, who knows if some of these young young guys could be the, the next wave uh, of the stars here at the All-Native. Coming back, Harry Jr. drives in, left hand, tough one. Rebound to Amos, working hard, gets it again. He's buried though. Yeah, and he's picked off there by Gitgat. But it's still a nine-point lead for Heisler. Less than 50 seconds to go, first half. Clifton gets the offensive boards, and uh, he's going to head to the line. Yeah, good effort on both ends, like you say. I mean, uh, when you're crowded by uh, three defenders, pretty tough to get a shot off. And, of course, it was stolen by Gitget. Yeah, 45 seconds showing on the clock here in the second quarter. And uh, Heisla. Really showing some grit here as they've come back. It's now a nine-point deficit. Back to ten after Christian Clifton hit that free throw. It's, uh, survival on the line here as Gitgat looking to live another day. And Heisel as well, of course. This game is close, so Clifton good on both. It's a big possession here. Heisel wants to keep it within uh, single digits. Harry Jr., Baseline. Oh, puts up a tough shot. Gitgat comes up with that rebound. This is a battle for it. Jump ball going to be called. Possession arrow in Gitgat's favor. I actually thought uh, Harry Jr. is going to hit uh, Elmer Smith, who's outside the three, who hit a three a few minutes ago. So with 25 seconds left on the clock in the second quarter, Gitgat has a Dundas. Oh, he almost turns it over there as uh, Harry got a hand on that. Knocked out of bounds. 13 on the shot clock. 19.4 on the game clock. And Dundas going to inbound for Gitgat. On the baseline. Oh, looks oh. like Clifton called with the travel. Got excited because Dundas is right behind him. He's going to shoot a three for sure. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, that was Logan. Logan Dundas with the turnover. So big possession here for Heisel. The shot clock's turned off. we got 12 seconds left in the first half. Hunter Wilson has it for Heisel. He's driving, Harry inside, turn around, Walker. Nice little putback there, Connor Walker. And that's going to be it for, oh no. Oh, I thought they almost uh, gifted two points there to Harry, but. Close. Yeah, very close. So nine point lead here. Gitgat leads at the half, 43-34. Again, this intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by Gitgat Health Department and on video by the Heisen Nation Council. We'll be back for the first half stats in a moment. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. We're here at the half now. It's officially noon. It's a halftime game here, and right now it is time for Cliff Notes, brought to you by Shearwater Marina and Resort. This is where we bring you the first half stat wrap-up. And a uh, really good comeback there, Willis, for uh, by Kitimat. Uh, Harley Bay has led the whole way. Uh, they're led by uh, Ethan Dundas. He's been uh, really flamboyant. Uh, big personality out there, getting the crowd into it, uh, hitting big threes. Uh, he leads all scorers by quite a bit. He's got 17 points uh, for uh, Gitgat. And uh, that's it for double digits for them. Uh, other scores: Christian Clifton had five, uh, John Clifton with five, Skyler Wesley with five, Nelson Robinson had three, Kobe Clifton had two, and Logan D uh, Dundas with two. Uh, they shot 41% there in that first half. Uh, really a lot of uh, rebounding there for them as uh, they've been crashing the boards. Uh, for Kidamat, we talked all morning about James Harry Jr. And, of course, he's leading the way. 11 points, 8 rebounds, 6 of those on the offensive glass. Uh, but Ethan Aim has uh, chipped in some good points there. He has 11. Uh, Connor Walker's got 5. Hunter Wilson's got 4. Elmer Smith with 3. Uh, but Willis, uh, the shooting percentage for Heisla, 26%. So if they're going to claw back, they're going to have to pick that up. So for, for sure, because like you say, Harry Jr., he's only 3 for 18. You know, a lot of theirs are 2-footers. If he gets some rolling in, you never know. It could be close as they're only down by nine. 
Yeah, and maybe when that triple team comes, you know, dish it off to somebody else and uh, maybe get a clear bucket there. But uh, valiant effort here by Heisla. They're only trailing by nine, but good God, they are in control, 43-34. So we're here at the half. Uh, this uh, Cliff Notes was brought to you by Shearwater Marina and Resort. We'll be back with your second half after this. Mid, mid tournament more or less right Wednesday um, but we have a full slate again uh, games on the schedule that's for sure and like you say tonight uh, there's gonna be a great women's matchup we got Vancouver versus Hazelton I'll be bringing that to you with uh, keeper Collison at uh, 6 30 in the arena yeah and our next broadcast uh, I think, believe is scheduled for one o'clock so we'll double check on uh, who's playing and who's broadcasting for all of our listeners out there it's coming back uh, opening up the second half Connor Walker with a nice little bucket Seven point lead here. Three pointer, no good. Wesley soaring in. Christian Clifton gets it back out. 0 for 3. Dundas, no good. Clifton, good hustle. But Heisel comes up with it out on the fast break. Amos missing the layup, but Harry there to clean it up off yeah. the glass. Good follow there by Harry Jr. Five point lead now. Wow, here we go. Heisel all the way back almost. As Clifton loses that. No, and it's another turnover. Out on the fast break again. Amos up off the glass again, and Harry picking it up again. Can't get that one to go, but Amos on the offensive board. He goes back up, draws the contact. Good hustle by Amos and uh, Harry Jr. there. Both running the court really well. Yeah, great hustle there. A lot of effort, uh, really getting the Heisler crowd into this. And like you say, I mean, uh, Heisler is known for just their runs right they never give they go and obviously we're in for a ball game now <sighs> miss that one yeah i know good on that one is uh, amos Thir uh, 43 38 uh, just uh, only one minute gone here in the second half amos good on the second so yeah look like they're gonna sub clifton out kobe clifton number seven as he goes right to the change room so we'll have to keep an eye on that we got a little bit of a press happening here for Heisla. Clifton just dribbles out of it. He's double teamed, gets it off. Dundas, fake, goes in the paint, dishes it off. Hands it off to, uh, let's tell uh, you, yeah. Dundas. Out to Wesley for three, nails it. <laughs> fine, fine yeah. stroke from distant land there. Yeah, he kept the, kept the, his arm up in the air, indicating that he felt pretty good about that shot. So it's back to a seven-point lead here. Heisler has it. Clifton route on him. Closely defending him. Nice pick by Amos. Is Harry out? Walker for three. Oh. Beautiful shot, Connor Walker. And it's now back to a four-point lead here, Kit Kat. We have a game as Clifton gets over half court, goes behind the back. This matchup has been great to watch. Christian Clifton, James Harry Jr., Baseline jumper, Skyler, no good, no, Wesley. And now Harry against Clifton all alone. Harry, spin move, off the glass, and the finish. And there you go. Pretty Warming tough up. to defend, yeah, oh, tough to well. defend that. Great play there. Two-point game. Dundas, boy, tippy-toes down the sideline. Wesley for three. That one's short. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't know how Walker came up with that one, but it uh, looked like he kind of wasn't going to go for the ball. Highs like a tide here. Oh, Harry up and under. No good. Gets his own rebound. Fighting for it. Beautiful Ooh. play by Harry. Yeah. Jeez. Great awareness where he's at. Falling out of bounds. Go off the, the defender out of bounds. Just a note about the three points. Uh, Gitgat is... Uh, they're nine for 18 from three land, and uh, Heiza is only two for nine. Wow. And there you go, yeah, Ethan Amos cleaning up the second effort there. It's all tied up now, 46-46. Boy, I think it was like almost a 20-point deficit, I think, at one point for, uh, for Heisler. So here we go. Gitgat's got the ball. Clifton, that's John Clifton driving in, going up. Tough shot, nice finish by John Clifton. It's uh, Gitgat now back to a two-point lead. I don't know if Heisler's led the whole way. They've tied it. As they're coming around, Smith has it. Out to Walker. No good, side rim. Gitgat comes up with it. 
Dundas, that's uh, Ethan Dundas. Looking for somebody to set a pick. Clifton's there. Ethan for three. That's no good. Knocked yeah. out of bounds. Yeah, I don't think Heisler has tied since 0-0. Like you say, now they're only down by two. Yeah, no, yeah, it's been an amazing comeback for them. I mean, it was nine points at the half. I know it said it was over 20 at one point early in the first quarter. So bringing the ball up for Heisler. That's uh, Hunter Wilson. Wilson, jump. Jump shot, no good. Rebound, get got. Back and forth we go. This is the intermediate ball. They never stop. Picked off. Out on the fast break. Amos. Spin move. They're going to call the uh, offensive foul there. <laughs> Looks like Skyler Wesley got position. Yes. Amos, uh, very sportsmanlike. Obviously helping the other guy up. But. Yeah, sometimes they make a good play. I mean, there's really nothing you do when your momentum's going and you see the guy plant and you're like, oh, no, you just know that... That charge is coming. Yeah, and he anticipated that spin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is very cool. No, it was great body position by him. So maybe with six minutes to go, we'll take a quick time yeah. out. This intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by GitGat Health Department and on video by Heisen Nation Council. We'll be back in a moment. GitGat. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. Only the basketball tournament, uh, great close action here, intermediate action as uh, Gitgat leading by two, 48-46. So we'll go to Willis right now to let you know what the rest of the broadcast schedule looks like today. Thank you, Peter. At 1 p.m. 1 PM today in the Masters Division, we've got myself and uh, Ryan Frank will be doing Lacqualams versus Kitimat. And then at uh, 2.30, senior men's Prince Rupert versus Massett, Peter. And Kiefer will bring you that one. 6.30, we have uh, women's division action, Vancouver. All my relations versus Hazelton. Uh, that'll be awesome. The Mystics are very well well coached. Kiefer and Willis will be doing that. And lastly, senior men's 8 p.m. That will be uh, Lachlan's versus New Orleans. Brought to you by Peter and Maverick. Thank you for that, Willis. And obviously, all that information is on the CFNR uh, social media out there. So coming back, Heisel looking to try to tie it back up again. Harry battling for it up and under. Walker leaves that in off the glass for two. Harry the Jr. all over the place. Uh, all that work really paying off. As we're tied up, Clifton, turn around in the paint. Gets, oh, I thought he was gonna get the roll there, but it somehow bounced out. So Heisler can take their first lead of the game here. It's coming back for them. Amos, he gets it. Heisler leads. 5.15 to go third quarter. They have come all the way back. Well, to see how Gitgat responds now. It almost felt like we were just going to go through the motions here early on, like it was going to be a big blowout. And a That's, turnover by Gitgat. Yeah, Dundas. He goes into the uh, the chairs here on the uh, the baseline, sideline. Yeah. Obviously, the infectious uh, effort by uh, Harry Jr. has gone to his teammates as they're up by two now. Yeah, definitely more zip in their step for sure. He's coming in now. There's Walker. He's had some nice touch here. And he's going to head to the line. Yeah, good spin. There's some good spins going on, and uh, going to get rewarded is going to the line for two. Yeah, Connor Walker. He's uh, come alive here for Heisla. Great so to see the action by again by Heisla as they were down plenty. They didn't really score much in the uh, first quarter, but now they're uh, looking really well and playing well, and uh, with 4:50 to go in the third. No, I think if we checked the running score, it was almost like 30-something to 9. Like, we were like, oh, my goodness. Like, it's, you know, it was really, really imbalanced there at the beginning. And look, it was just Harry Jr., the only one running around. But you're right, it is infectious. All of Heisler running now as Walker good on uh, one of two free throws. 
So I think they might have. Oh yeah, so it's it is Heisel leading, right? Yes, yeah, 51, 49. Okay, Gitgat has the ball. Clifton, as it goes in, has to Logan Dundas, no good. The Heisel run continues. Coming back. Hunter Wilson out to Smith, no good. Knocked out of bounds by Heisla. 4.23 left third quarter. Winner of this game is uh, going to survive for another day, and the loser of this is out of the tournament. But it's uh, Wednesday, so great showing so far for both teams. Coming back. Clifton out. Dundas. That was Logan Dundas for three, no good. Oh, and he tried to lead Harry Jr. a little bit too hard. That results in a turnover. Gitkat comes back with it. John Clifton, and he almost turns it over. Rips the ball away. Wesley for three. Oh nice shot, Skyler Wesley. High arcing shot. Ties it up at 51. Harry Jr. He's been uh, the man here. Looking to drive, goes in, splits the defenders up off the glass. Oh. Tough shot. Very sweet left-hander. Wow, I don't know how he threaded the two <laughs> defenders there and went up with it. It was great basketball play there. Another great defensive effort by Heisla. Almost results in a turnover. Coming back, we got a travel call. Wow. Boy, this Heisla momentum. You can see the coach of uh, Gitkat trying to get his players. It's okay, settle down, you guys. That's Graham Clifton, the coach. Big run by Heisla as they're up by two. Yeah, great, uh, great run. 53-51, Heisler leads. You can hear the Heisler crowd backing up their team. The chance of go, Heisler, go. Smith. Smith, behind his back, drives in. Dishes it out, Walker's got it. He puts up a three. No oh. mistake on that one. Walker giving the two-gun salute. He's getting pumped up, 56-51. Heisla playing great spirited ball. Clifton, oh, that's knocked away by Heisla. Knocked out of bounds. It's going to result in a turnover. Yeah, right in front of us there, like uh, Walker, he put his hand on the ball, went off the uh, Kit Kat player and out of bounds. Good defensive effort. Yeah, they've really picked up the intensity here. Uh, Kit Kat really has no answers right now. You got to think maybe going back to Dundas for some threes. They've kind of moved away from that, uh, that, that three-point shooting approach. But Heisla now leads by five. Smith for three. That rattles around, almost goes. Big boards. That was controlled by Hunter Wilson. Wilson goes in. Can't get that one to go. Gitgat comes up with the rebound. This is Dundas, Logan Dundas. Logan hands it off. Clifton for three, that's Kobe. Couldn't get it to go. Dundas with the rebound, gets it into Clifton. That's Kobe, back out. Christian Clifton fakes the three. Six on the shot clock. Out at the top. High arching shot. Oh, oh. No good on that one. Was John Clifton missing. <laughs> that was almost in the clouds, that, that shot. Was, yeah. Just about went. But it looked like Heisler had the ball, and uh, they called. They got turned it over with the travel call. Yeah. It's, uh, Harry Jr. going to get the next explanation on that one. Yeah. That was good just to ask. Right? Yeah, you yeah. bet. And uh, like you say, maybe a little bit, a uh, little bit of a shuffle. No, the refs are never really, uh, you know, they don't mind that at all when you ask for clarification. Clifton goes up, he's fouled. Some great sportsmanship uh, being showed there as a Harry Jr. helping out Clifton, really, you know, right away there. Yeah. When you see that in the NBA, you know, the opposing player goes down, the the other team never goes by to, <laughs> to offer help. That's so true. Yeah. Clifton, get on that first attempt. I mean, that's the funny thing, Willis, is, I mean, you know, I'm not implying that there's unsportsmanship at the All-Native, because every game ends with that ritual. When you get knocked out, both teams come together, and you know, that's the spirit of the All-Native. That's so true, yeah. right? Effort, 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 right till the end. Good shots. Were, uh, both free throws were good there by Clifton, so it's a three-point lead. Heisla coming back. Baseline jumper. That's no good. As that was uh, number six, Josh Grant Jr. Battle for the rebounds results in a jump ball. And that's pointing in Gitgat favor. So we got some more subs as uh, Amos coming back into the game, giving Walker a little bit of breather. Good minutes for Walker there in that third quarter. So Gitgat, they're looking to try to get things going here. They now trail by three. 
Clifton has it. Christian, he goes in. Tough drive. Finds John Clifton all alone as he lays it off the glass for two. Clifton to Clifton. One point game. He's coming back. Wilson to Smith. Back to Harry Jr. Harry Jr. on the baseline. Spin move. Quick spin move. Boy, wow. that's tough. Oh, and Amos with the putback. Great reverse there, Amos. So back to a three-point lead. 106 to go third quarter as Dundas. It's going to slow things down. Clifton loses the handle. Battle for the ball as they die for it. Jump ball called. Possession will be to uh, Isla. Yeah, resulting in a turnover. His uh, possession arrow is zinging back and forth with all this hustle. Less than a minute to go here in the third quarter. Heisler clinging to a three-point lead, 58-55. Smith looks to hand it off. He's denied. Grant Jr. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Harry Jr., he's driving up off the glass. No good. Gets his own rebound. No. Comes back out, though. Heisler ball. Grant Jr., he goes in. Puts up a tough shot off the oh, glass, gets it to go. Great effort there. Great effort. Uh, Five-point lead now, Heisla. Coming back now for Gitgat, Christian Clifton. Hands it off. Dundas has been pretty quiet here. He's trying to settle his team down. They're going to hold. And they can't hold for one because there's, uh, there's going to be time left. But Dundas, oh, the nice little up and under step. Oh, couldn't get it to go. So Heisla has it. Five seconds to go. Grant Jr., two seconds. Someone's got to get a shot off here at the buzzer. Wilson, oh, oh no good, but uh, not a bad shot. So three quarters underway. It's 60-55. Uh, Heisler yeah. leads. This intermediate game is brought to you on radio by the Get Get Health Department and on video by the Heisler Nation Council. We'll be back for fourth quarter action in a moment. Heisler Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisler players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisler Senior Women, Heisler Intermediates, Heisler Seniors, and the Heisler Masters Team. Heisler Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. Is, uh, Willis, boy, who knows what's going to happen in this game? I thought for sure it was going to be Git Gat, and uh, you know Heisler now stormed all the way back. They trailed by nine at the half. Now they lead by five. Yeah, good. I was just talking to the stat man, Cliff Morgan. Uh, just maybe indica indicative of that would be offensive rebounds for uh, Heisler, 17-2 to Git Gat. So there you go, as Heisler up by five. So back to live action here, fourth quarter. Clifton, explosive uh, drive in there. So I'm not sure if uh, that was before the shot. He's okay. going to have two, yeah. Well, they're, they're going to give the continuation there, so. Yeah, he was explosive. They Oof, covered a lot, of, a lot of ground with two dribbles. Yeah, well, lots of the, I mean, these kids nowadays, you know, they're just so big and so athletic, and, you know, they talk about evolution of the ball player. Uh, I mean, it's a thing, you know, like, you look back 20, 30 years ago in the All-Native, you weren't seeing 6'4 guards, you know, that are 14 years old <laughs> playing so at the All-Native. I mean, they're usually, like, you know, little kids that are four feet, four foot six. And really nice at the line. Oh, no, all these guys can play. It's the new game of basketball, right? Big men can shoot. Uh, little guys can dunk. And it's, oh. oh, miscommunication there. Miscommunication as, uh, yeah, Woods and uh, Grant Jr. for Heisler. Miscommunicating on that one as the ball goes out of bounds. So Clifton was good on both free throws. Three-point game. Clifton kicks it out. Dundas, fake. He goes in up. Tough runner. Boards. Nice board there by Clifton. Comes out. Gitgat with another attempt here. Wesley. Dundas. He's trying to go into Clifton, but that's Christian. Drives in. A little bit heavy. He got there. Samuel Woods has it for Heisla. It's coming back. Harry Jr. Oh, it's almost picked. Oh, it is. Great hustle here by Clifton, but still Heisla ball. So it's not, uh, no violation there. Oh, we got an offensive foul called. Harry. Yep. A little bit of a forearm. Things getting a bit chippy out there. That was a Kobe Clifton and a Harry Jr. having to be separated. Yeah, Kobe went up to uh, Harry Jr. I think it's accidental, but uh, obviously uh, Harry it almost Jr. looked like Harry's fun. push off was like a reactionary thing. Like he wasn't intentionally trying to, yeah. you know, do that. It's just a reaction. I yeah, think I a reaction play. I don't think he's that type of player. No. But anyway, no fouls, no harm done. Uh, they've got it. Uh-oh. Oh. 
As Clifton gets shipped up by Harry there. Yeah. That's two in a row. Two really quick fouls, fouls there on Harry third. Jr. That's his third, so so far uh, no major problems. He picks up a fourth, then we'll be we'll be paying attention to that. But every possession counts here. You know, survival of the tournament on the line. As, uh, both teams know this uh, this could be it for them. As Clifton Jr. or Clifton gets it in. Dundas Ethan goes up. Tough shot. Can't get it to go. This Kit Kat just can't get a field goal. They've only been getting free throws. As Harry Jr. almost uh, caught snooze in there. As they're coming back. Harry Jr. Out at the top. Puts up a quick three. No good. Rebounds. Hits the ground. Oh, and lucky uh, Kit Kat fortunate to pick that one up as the ball hit the floor, which you don't see very often. That's rare. Clifton. Wesley for three for the tie. No good. Yeah, off, off, uh, off the moorings. I'm not sure what you call those, but... Yeah, the back basketball sport, obviously, because it's straight from the rafters kind of deal. And uh, it would be good if it was kind of like pushed back. Yeah. That can cause a problem, right? Yeah. It's done that in yeah. years. We've years been past. hearing about that. They are talking about finally replacing those, which yeah. would be great. That'd be fabulous. So Heisler coming back. They still lead by three. It's 60-57. Good hands there by Wesley to knock it out of bounds. So Heisler going to inbound again on the sideline. Grant Jr., Hands it into Harry Jr. He drives baseline. Tough runner off the glass. I didn't think he had room to go glass there. Nice touch there by James Harry Jr. So it's a five point lead for Heisla. Gitgat's got the ball. Clifton goes into Dundas. Dundas in the paint. Oh, and he's stuffed by Amos. He didn't have to jump on that one. Great uh, defensive effort there by Amos. He denied Dundas. Trying to get the call, but flinging his arms up yeah, in the air. Flailed the arms up. Smith for three. No good. Rebound controlled by Kit Kat. So it's still a five point lead. 7.24 left in the game. Clifton. Oh, nice little fake there. He goes off the glass, but can't get the ball to go. Gets his own rebound. As he comes back out with it, Kit Kat going to get things settled up here. They've uh, really denied Dundas from taking any shots from the outside. He's been everything on the inside. Kobe Clifton puts up a tough shot there. That's no good. As Heisler comes back with it. Seven minutes left. Harry, he's okay with uh, using as much clock as he can right now. Oh, and Harry goes in undefended. Oh, and he missed that one. I'm not sure what happened. It looked like Gitka just didn't react at all. They're screaming at Kit Kat to push the pace here. Clifton drives in. They're going to call the oh. offensive foul. Looked like the, the ref thought about it for a second. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's a, that's a charge. And, and it looked like a charge from here. That was a good call there. So we have such a great view. Yeah, we do. On this end. That, the other end, of course, it's a little bit distant. But just looking at the Kit Kat bench, it looked like we see Esham on the bench for uh, Kit Kat. We probably wish he was to be playing. Okay, so here we go. Heisel ball, they still lead by five. So they're moving it around the perimeter. Connor Walker back in the game. Smith out to Walker. He drives in. Oh, he tried to go. Oh, look out, watch out behind you. There you <laughs> he didn't hear us. Yeah, he didn't hear us, but we've seen that coming as Clifton got his pocket picked. There's a drive there. Hunter Wilson going to head to the line. That was the... Uh, the player that snuck up behind the Kit Kat player to steal it. <laughs> and of course, his bench is not going to yell at maybe if it was on the other end. But No, it's pretty funny that we're the only ones that could warn him. Hunter, watch out behind you. But, uh, yeah, we can't do that. We're always, we, don't, we, we, have no, we have no biases at the broadcast table here. And we just hope for a good game. But uh, big free throws here for Heisla. There's uh, no good on that one. Hunter. No Wilson. friendly roll on that one. Huh? Yeah, no friendly roll. Yeah. So it's 62-57. Uh, no good on that one either. We got a line violation against Heisla. So it's going to end up in a, uh, yeah, it's going to be Gitgat ball. 6-14 yeah. left, uh, Gitgat. Oh. Holy long outlet pass. Nice arm there by Dundas. As he gets that in. Put back, oh, that was a... Uh, they just can't hit Logan the Dundas, they just cannot buy a bucket right now. They're getting right to the rim. 
So coming back for Heisler, it's still five point lead. As they're content now to kind of slow things down, they have the lead. There's Grant Jr., Walker. Walker on the baseline. Gets it into Smith. He almost loses it. Shot clock violation. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, good D there by Gitgat, uh, resulting in a 24-second shot clock violation. But Gitgat, they need a bucket, Willis. And, uh, yeah, it seems like there's a lid on that hoop right now. Yeah, they've been on uh, 57 for the last four minutes. So Gitgat needs a bucket here. For three. Oh, I'm not sure what that looked like. Away from the ball. Yeah, I've, I've been watching... Uh, Dundas and uh, 23 Smith. They've been jawing back and forth down here. <laughs> Bumping, a little bit of bump, so the referee had to call on Smith. Okay, so that's the foul called on Smith. No uh, bonus situation yet. Uh, that was uh, Dallin Sampson in the game here for Gitgat. Nice pass into the interior. Clifton, they finally get it. Nice pass by Dundas. That was Ethan finding Christian Clifton under the hoop. Three point lead for Heisler, 526 to go. James Harry Jr. Looking to drive for Heisley. He does. Puts up a tough shot. They're going to call the block on Dundas. And yeah, uh, he's going to head to the line. Yeah, that's a great matchup, eh? Christian Clifton and Harry Jr., man. There's some nice athletes there. They've been going at it all game, and it's just been that man-on-man -man defense, right? Yeah. Just a reminder, this intermediate game is brought to you on the radio by GitKat Health Department and video by Heisley Nation Council. We'll be back in a moment. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. This great intermediate action is uh, Dundas. Ethan Dundas uh, got a bucket on this end on that break. And now uh, Harry Jr. is at the line again for Heisler, shooting some free throws. So with that made free throw by Harry, it's 64-61. Uh, Make it 65-61. Four-point lead here for Heisler. Coming back, 440 left in the game. Clifton into Dundas. Dundas, nice finish by him. We're just talking, he hasn't scored a basket from three, but he's going inside now. Yeah, showing lots of versatility. He's a great young player. So two-point game. Coming in now. Wilson. Wilson drives baseline. Great help defense. Oh, they're going to call the blocking foul there on Wesley. Oh, and that, that's going to be his fifth personal. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. Last one is his fourth, yeah. Big he's loss. about that. Looked like he was straight up. It looked like he got there, yeah. I was kind of watching the play develop, too, and it uh, looked like he was just there with arms up. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he's made a couple of threes for his team. Yeah. And, yeah, you, and you got to think defensively. I mean, he's one of the big totally. men working. You know, every time like, Harry being so aggressive and driving and driving, you know, uh, losing Wesley, a big blow here for Kitkat. For sure. Yeah, and then that's um, Hunter Wilson good on that first free throw. So we'll have to see uh, how Kitkat responds to that adversity. Good on both free throws, Hunter Wilson. Four point lead, 67-63. So here comes Clifton, that's Christian. He's looking, looks to drive, goes in, goes up, contact. Oh. Looks like Harry Jr. Nope. Looks like they're gonna call that on uh, Connor Walker. So Clifton going to head to the line here for some free throws. Big ones now, Willis. Both teams in the bonus. Free throws coming down the line here, oh, down yeah. the wire. Take your time. Use your legs. Obviously, Clifton makes good. I mean, his free throws for the last have been all nothing but net. See if I jinxed him. Nope. nope. There you go. Good uh, concentration there by Clifton. So pulls Gitgat to within two. Four minutes to go in the game. Harry Jr. for Heisler. 
He's going to look to drive. He drives, goes up. Oh, little up and under. Boy, that's a great step bar by him. That was like a Euro step yeah, between two guys. Yeah. yeah, he goes and lands with the two feet and straight up. Great bucket there by Harry Jr. Coming back for Gitgat. Clifton, that's Christian. Back out, John Clifton. He looks to drive, goes up out the glass. No good, battle for the boards. Gitgat tries to save it, but uh, they stepped on this on the baseline. John Clifton, great hustle there. Yeah, I just stepped on the baseline and uh, almost saved it. So it's still a four-point lead for Heisler. They have the ball. Harry Jr. out to Wilson, down low, into Walker. That's no good. Oh. Looks like over the back call probably on Walker. <laughs> He's like looking yeah. over his shoulders. They call that mugging a little bit. Uh, <laughs> frustration, right? You miss an easy oh, layup. Oh, man. See it's, it all the time. It's tempting. You should have held back, but obviously he didn't. And as you say, you're in a bonus, right? We're gonna right. No, now. exactly. Yeah, yeah. The clock and the so it stops the clock, which is more important for Gitgat is, you know, they, they need to claw back here. So true. And they're down four. So let's see if they'll be just be down by two. We'll see. Yeah. Logan Dundas at the line. They're looking good here. Gitgat uh, coming down. Both, both squads hitting their free throws right now. That's what they say. You got to hit it down the end. Who's going to finish it? You got 320 left, folks. Dundas didn't touch the rim on those ones. They are both perfect swishes. Two point game. Heisel still leads. 314 to go. James Harry Jr. and Clifton. They've been matched up all day. As Harry splits the defenders up off the glass. No good. Gitgat with the rebound. Clifton, three on two. Bounces it in. Oh, John Clifton lost it off his foot. Out of bounds. Oh, man. Actually. Uh, Dundas is waiting for outside the three. No one was guarding him, but again. yeah, Dundas is saying, "Keep your head up." Like you can just see, yeah, he's he's trying to, you know, emotionally be upset about the play, and he's like, "We're in a game here. Yep, no, no time to hold to hold your head down right now." Especially if you didn't have the lane, yeah, the basket. Yeah, and maybe he was saying, "Put your head up," because Dundas was open too. But Heisler has got the ball. Two fifty to go in the game. Harry looking to drive up and under shot. No good rebounds. Ethan Dundas comes out with it. Get has got the ball. They can tie it up. Dundas hands it off. Oh, he does Clifton missing that. Kobe Clifton. But Dundas comes up with it again. Get Cat, another shot here. Clifton, jumper from the free throw line. Oh, side rim, no good. Heisler with that rebound. Coming back now, Hunter Wilson hands it off. Harry Jr., 2.18 to go in the game. It's still two point lead for Heisler. Harry Jr. looking to create as he looks to drive. Oh, nice hesitation. Floater, no good. Amos with the rebound. Nope. He couldn't get that to go. Kit Kat's got it out on the fast break. Somebody's wide open there. Oh, oh bounce that's a pass. Tough one. That's a tough picked one. off. Yeah, picked off by Hunter Wilson. Less than two minutes to go. It's still a two point lead, Heisler. Wilson drives off the glass. It's heavy. Battle for the boards. Kit Kat's got it. As again, they're going to try to tie this up or take the lead. 140 left in the game. Clifton, Christian Clifton, Logan Dundas in front of us for the tie. Oh, it's heavy. And it's uh, Heisler ball again. So Harry Jr., 130 left in the game. Heisler continuing the lead by two here. Harry Jr. content to let the clock wind down as much as he can. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Harry Jr. looking to create. Oh, he almost lost it there. Three to go on the shot clock. Harry for three. Oh, he hits it. Big, it's a big three. Folks. Big shot there. Big shot. And we got a timeout called Gitgat. Highs the lead, 72-67. This injury game is brought to you on radio by Gitgat Health Department and a video by the Heisman Nation Council. We'll be back for the last part of the game in a moment. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. Shot Willis as James Harry Jr. hitting a three, giving Heisler a five-point lead. That's massive. We've got 1-11 left, folks. And just a note, our stat man, 
Great stats from Cliff Morgan. Uh, foul shooting got Kitimak back into the game. Heisler is there 18 for 32. They went free throw line for a lot and they made a lot. Uh, again, uh, Geekat went in the route there, but let's see what they can do with the last 111 left. 111 left in the game. Winner stays in and uh, lives to fight another day tomorrow. And of course, uh, the loser of this game is out of the 2020 tournament. So here we go. Gitgat. They're trailing by five. They have the ball. Clifton has it. Christian Clifton drives, hands it off. John Clifton, little jumper. That's heavy. Boards. Clifton comes up with it. Christian Clifton lays it in. He laid that in for two. So it's a three-point lead now. Heisler's got it. Less than a minute to go. We got 50 seconds showing on the clock. Harry Jr. It's a one-possession game. We'll have to see if they can make it a two-possession. Harry Jr., you know he's going to keep it. Nine seconds. Oh, it's picked off. No, it's not. Oh, geez, that was Connor. Calling for a travel. Connor Walker uh, turns it over by Heisla. 38 seconds left. It's a three-point game. Get Gat. They're looking to tie it up or pull within one. Clifton, he's got the ball. 30 seconds left. Clifton out at the top. Gets it over to Dundas. Ethan Dundas for the tie. Oh, he gets, it, he, gets it <laughs> he gets it to go. We're all tied up. Wow, what a shot there by Kit Kat. I'm not sure what's going on. With We're not too sure what's going on with our mics, but... Yeah. Uh, but it, I think there's a timeout with uh, Heisla. With that, we got 23.1 to go. This intervening game is brought to you on radio by the Kit Kat Health Department and video by the Heisla Nation. Yeah, we'll stay we'll, live here. Yes, uh, we're, sure. uh, we're in a tie game. Is, uh, what a big shot there. Ethan Dundas hitting his first three of the second half to tie it up, Willis. Yeah, and that one looked like it was going to roll out, like w- which has been happening for them. But that one did it and dropped, which is great because now we've got a tie ball game. And overtime, our last second shot, Peter. What yeah, do you think? I don't know. I mean, right now, uh, you got to think it's going to be James Harry Jr. 24-second um, shot clock. You know, I have a feeling that it's going to kind of wind it down and James Harry Jr. are going to, you know, have a chance to win it here. Yeah, the southpaw player, he's a fine guard. Can sure uh, break some ankles and let's see what happens. But again, Christian uh, Clifton, he's guarding him, so let's see how it goes. Yeah, so there's 23.1 on the clock, so there will be no 24-second shot clock on this one. I don't know, Willis, uh, the story of the game has kind of been James Harry getting offensive rebounds, so maybe it'll be that. A James Harry put back on his own miss. That, uh, that'd be that, my prediction, but... That, that could happen. Let's see what happens here. And we've got uh, time winding down. 23-1, Peter. Here we go. Yeah, but it's been great defense by Kitkat to, you know, to, be in the, to be in the situation that they are in. So here we go, everybody. Heisler's got the ball. 20 seconds to go. 18 seconds. Here they come. That's Edward Smith Jr. Oh, off the glass for two. Smith with the, the, tie, the bucket to go ahead. Kitkat's got the ball. 10 seconds. Nine is eight seconds. Six seconds, they're trailing by two. Ethan Dundas. Oh, no, he's going to step. Oh, he, <laughs> he, did call it. he did call it. Oh, no. Dundas. Dundas just stepped out of oh, bounds. Here we go, maybe a steal. Three we're going to have to do a quick foul here. Quick foul. That's, uh, I was amazed that that much time went off the clock without that foul being called. Yeah, you have to go right away because you're down two. You've got to give yourself a chance. That was a little bit uh, strange. I mean, Dundas, we saw him dr- uh, driving on the, the baseline here. Uh, didn't look like there was a lot of urgency there. You know, he was kind of taking his time, and the clock was really winding down. I think he I just went too deep, and then he just people were collapsing. So, of course, that made him step on the line. Yeah, I know. Really unfortunate uh, turn of events there as Dundas stepped on and out of bounds. Just talking about him. Harry Jr. at the line now. He hits the first free throw. It's a three-point lead. This is huge. He can put it out of reach with this one. There and he, he nailed it. Clutch shot there by Harry Jr., and that's going to be it. Yeah. Wow. What a comeback for Heisla. Yep. As uh, Heisla has defeated Gitgad in a great game, 76-72. And this uh, intermediate game was brought to you on the radio by Gitgad Health Department and on video by Heisla Nation Council. We'll be back with the game wrap-up and cliff notes after this. Great, uh, great action there, intermediate as uh, Heisla. Came all the way back, Willis. They were trailing by over 20 in the first quarter, and uh, they lived to fight another day. They've knocked out Gitkat, uh, but what a great game. Uh, leading the way for Heisla, uh, James Harry Jr. We talked about him all game just because he was all over the place. 29 points, 13 rebounds, 4 assists. Uh, obviously, your player of the game. But uh, Ethan Amos, he had 20 points. Uh, came up big there down the stretch. Uh, also, uh, Connor Walker putting in some great uh, uh, great miles for Heisla. He had 16 points. And it was basically those 
those big three. Uh, aside from that, Hunter Wilson had six and Elmer Smith had five. Yeah, so really three players for Heisla uh, carrying them to, to victory today. They only shot 36% uh, percent for the game. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, only 16 bench points for the uh, for the entire squad. So, but uh, they won. So great uh, effort there, Heisla. I'm sure you're really proud of your young men. Uh, a lot to be proud of today. And speaking of that, uh, Gitgat, they put up a great fight, uh, led by Ethan Dundas, who tied it up there in the last few seconds. Uh, he led them with 24 points. Uh, Christian Clifton at 17, John Clifton with 11, Skylar Wesley, who they really hurt, uh, missed down the stretch. Oh, totally. As he fouled out, uh, he had eight points, but uh, they really missed him in the last few minutes. Nelson Robinson with three. Yeah, actually amazing there, Willis. Uh, 11 for 11 from the line for the game uh, for GitGat. Rare, great to see, though. Yeah, normally you'd never say if you shoot 100% <laughs> from the line and you lose the game. It's uh, pretty shocking, but, you know, I guess that's uh, that's... Uh, something to walk away with anyway. Great effort by Kitkat. Rest of the scores, Kobe Clifton had two. Nelson Robinson with three. Logan Dundas with four. Uh, Dallin Sampson with the three of his own. So, uh, yeah, 17, uh, 20 turnovers there uh, for Kitkat. As, uh, the, that hurt them. But uh, they had a great tournament. You know, nothing to hang their heads about. That's for sure. They missed, obviously, Esham and another fella there. And it would have been great to have them. But, uh, again, great effort by both teams. And the Heisla never quit. Obviously, they got the victory by four over Kitkat. Yep, so they move on. We don't know who Kitimat's going to play yet, and uh, stay tuned on Classic Rock CFNR. We'll get you all that information. Uh, this Cliff Notes episode is brought to you by Shearwater Marina and Resort. So we're going to take a little bit of a break. We have a full slate of games on the schedule all day uh, here in the middle of the week of uh, the 61st Annual all Native Basketball Tournament. So for Willis Parnell, the Statman Cliff Morgan, uh, we'll take a break. We'll be back after this.